A local animal shelter got a special visit from Santa Claus after an anonymous donation was made by a Destin animal lover. News 13's Jessica Ayers caught up with Paws, the Panhandle Animal Welfare Society, and tells us that this donation could be the beginning of what will be a major project. Paws has been sheltering animals for 63 years now and received many generous donations over time. But one person just topped them all. It came at the hands of a person who wanted to remain anonymous. This gift was a huge surprise, as you can imagine, to us. Tracy Williams, executive director of Paws, says one thing they do know is the part-time Destin resident loves animals. I have always been an animal lover and the need for paws is very apparent in the community. Williams said the donation was a game changer for their outdated shelter. Right now we've got um, about 250 cats and kittens and 150 dogs and puppies. And here is obviously very outdated. This is basically just housing animals, feeding them, cleaning up after them. What we hope to have over there is more of an animal um, epicenter for Okaloosa County. Because there are so many animals to care for, the PAWS staff spends most of their time cleaning, which leaves little time for socializing. That's where the volunteers come in. I've always been an animal lover, but I've never had a dog before. I come in usually two, three, four times a week if I can find the time to. Obviously, I have to balance work and volunteering here. The more that we can help out with them and more we can socialize them, the easier it is for them to get adopted. Emma Yulaberry, PAWS adoption counselor, says many animals need a home, but those looking to adopt must meet the criteria first. So we make sure that you either own your home or if you're renting, you have rental permission, and that if you have any other animals, that they're up to date on vaccinations and if they're spayed or neutered, and really just making sure that overall you can um, fulfill what the dog needs. Williams says the large donation was a lot and greatly appreciated, but they still need to raise plenty of money for the future. It's obviously going to be a multi-million dollar project. And this donation wasn't the first step in their journey towards building a new facility. We we'll certainly want to thank Mr. Al Qualls and his family who donated the 15 acres. Um, and so he did that in memory of his wife, uh, Peggy Qualls, who was a big animal lover. If you would like to donate to PAWS, adopt an animal, or even volunteer your time, head to mypanhandle.com. In Okaloosa County, Jessica Ayers, News 13, Panhandle Strong. A portion of Frank Brown.